one of the most exciting PLEs is coming up very, very, very soon. On July 6th in Toronto, six men and six women will compete in what's called a Money in the Bank ladder match. Now, the match rules are simple. You know, it's a ladder match, grab a ladder climb, and over top of the ring will be a briefcase. First one to grab it, obviously wins. And in that briefcase is a guaranteed contract for a world title uh, match of their choosing. It could be a before match, it could be after match, it could be during a match, it could be whenever. They get the cash in then. And so with the PLE coming up, I decided to take a look at not only who I think should win, I also give you who I personally want to win. So without further ado, let's get into it. Quick backstory on the Money in the Bank concept. It started, I think, 2005, something like that, in a ladder match. Back then, it took place at WrestleMania. Now, for the past 15 years at this point, it's had its own special show. But it has produced some you know, world champions. It's produced some uh, stinkers and all that kind of crap. And for... Uh, if you want to look back at last year's, we had Damian Priest and Io Sky as your winners last year. Now, the briefcase holder gets a full like calendar year, basically until the, I I think they go off the next whenever the next Money Bank takes place to cash in. Io Sky, you know, won it at the Money Bank and cash in the next month at SummerSlam, pinning a Bianca Belair who literally just won the title. And then you have a Damian Priest who waited until WrestleMania. So was it like eight months, no, nine months maybe, something like that from last year? And cashed in at WrestleMania, beating Drew McIntyre, who again, just won the World Heavyweight Championship. So those are the stakes, you know, you get that briefcase, you get a great shot at becoming a world champion. So, moving on to this year. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do each men's and women's match individually, and I'm basically going to do what my head thinks, sh who should win, but what the heart wants, get it? Cause you know, name's heartfelt. But what the heart wants as the winner. Diving into the women's match. And my want is none other than, I'm gonna try to do some justice. Chelsea Green. How was that? But Chelsea Green as the money in the uh, bank briefcase holder would be some fantastic annoying heel work clearly she is one of the best characters in the entire women's division and her having a briefcase or maybe trying to constantly cash in and get thwarted or you know just being annoying taking the first two months just to celebrate rubbing in management's face oh it'll be so good it'll be great television and you know, unless they're going to uh, run Bianca and Jade near the, the trial scene yet, maybe a in little injection of energy that could be used right now, especially with Bailey not having a defined opponent or defined feud for summer yet. So that would be hilarious and fun. As far as who I think should win, I'm stuck between two, so I'm just gonna cheat and put both. I have Nia Jax and Jade Cargill and Honestly, for a similar a reason, having both of those powerhouses as a Money in the Bank holder would give Bailey a reason to constantly look over her shoulder and be worried that, you know, after a grueling match or after a, a, a t especially a title defense, you know, she has someone who's physically out dominated her in both Nia Jax or Jay Cargill just waiting in the wings to come powerbomb slam the one, two, three, new champ. So that, that's who I think uh, should win. I, a gun to head, I think they'll give it to Cardgill. Because with Nia Jax, I don't, Nia Jax probably wouldn't be a long hold. It'll be, it'll be similar to EO. You maybe cash in at SummerSlam, Bash in Berlin, or whatever the September, October PL is. I have a look at the schedule. Jay Cardgill will be a long, longer hold simply because I think you should, that she needs to. You need to build her up singles wise. You know, her, the pairing of Jade and Bianca was just great. It was awesome. But building her up more singles wise to be that person that can hold a great one on one match by herself would make her, I think, an overall better champion. Because she's proven she can go. But it's almost like she hasn't had a signature 
one-on-one feud or signature one-on-one match to me to justify a quick cash-in. Now, I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope, maybe she does cash in the same night. We've seen that before. But I expect if Jay Cargo wins to hold it to at least the virus series, maybe even Royal Rumble. But yeah, those are for the women. Now, on to the men. The heart wants LA Knight or Jay Uso. LA Knight, first of all, either one is a huge pop for uh, the win. And with LA, uh, I think he would be a longer reign simply because LA Knight would not cash out Cody Rhodes. That would uh, hurt. That might hurt LA Knight. Who knows? It, I, it could, it could not, but I don't think it's a risk worth taking. I think if LA Knight were to cash in on WWE title, he cashes in on whoever beats Cody. A la maybe a Randy Orton. Maybe, a, maybe even a solo. We'll see. I think LA Knight cashes in on that person. Or LA Knight switches brands, goes after the World Heavyweight title, which to me, he probably should have after, after the draft. Jay Uso will be a fun, uh, a fun reign. And you know, he, him cashing in on a World Heavyweight title, or, or, or him cashing in on a solo after solo wins a WWE title. Oh, it'll be so good. That would be fun. So the heart wants LA Knight or Jay Uso to get the damn briefcase. But for the head, for my head, who I think should win it, I have Logan Paul or Ludwig Kaiser. That was a terrible accent. Ludwig would uh, create an interesting dynamic should Gunther win the World Heavyweight title at SummerSlam. If you don't know, because he won King of the Ring, he has a guaranteed shot at whoever the champion is at SummerSlam. Ludwig holding it would be, you know, it'll be a fun little thing. Is he gonna catch on Gunther? Is he not? If he uh, does try, whatever. I think Ludwig is enough of a bad guy to where if they were to feud, it could turn Gunther face. That's just who Ludwig is. He's going to be a upper mid card main event heel for years to come out like a Miz or something. And this will be a perfect test for Ludwig to see can he hang around that main event scene. You know, he's currently kind of in, intertwined with the Intercontinental title. But should he win the case, it's immediately bumped up to main event level. You know, your main eventing rolls, all that kind of stuff. Great test for him. Logan Paul, now hear me out. Logan Paul would be best should he lose the United States title between now and when that men's match starts. And it's possible, you know, he's right now feuding with LA Knight. I assume they're going to fight for a title in, in Toronto. Logan could lose that title then and then kind of weasel his way into the match or you know he might just straight win a, a qualifier be uh be in the match regardless but him losing trade basically trading in the United States title for the Monday Bank briefcase would be awesome uh you know obviously he brings eyes to the product him carrying around that briefcase doing whatever and him selling that he's going to be your future WWE champion would do well for the business it would do well for him and when he finally catches in when he finally cashes in and wins it and it need slogan paul's need to be a successful cash in it should not be a failed case that's a waste it is it, it just makes business sense logan paul is your wwe champion makes business sense you can like him you can hate him but it makes damn sense and i for one cannot wait to see it so if it makes dollars it makes sense L logan paul should be the winner or Ludwig. I'm uh, those either ones should be winners. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know who you want to win down below or who do you think should win down below. Curious to see if you agree with me, disagree, all that kind of stuff. But I can't wait for the PLE. I hope you can't wait either. Do me a favor, go ahead and like and subscribe. Helps me out a lot. Uh, on all socials, you can find me at It's Heartfelt. But for right now, I am just Heartfelt. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.